What's up, friends? Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about Hurricane Helene and the aftermath that is absolutely total destruction. Uh, the things I have seen in the media, um, the death toll continues to rise. It is absolutely terrible. Um, I feel absolutely awful for the Big Bend of Florida, Georgia, and up into North Carolina. These areas that I'm seeing um, that were beautiful before are absolutely devastated. Um, FEMA running out of money, uh, you know, the, the lack of uh, government help, the, the lack of uh, military response due to leadership, and uh, what looks like or what I'm seeing a lot of reports that uh, the well-intentioned government is actually handcuffing and strong-arming and not allowing as much help as could be provided by, uh, by, outside, uh, by outside civilians. So let's dive in. I want to show you some things that I've seen that I think are absolutely ridiculous, and, uh, and I think you need to see them too. So follow along. Let me know what you think about this. I'd love to hear from other people and see if other people in other areas are actually tracking this. So let's dive right in. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds, FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. This all comes as the Biden-Harris administration spent over a billion dollars from a FEMA program on services for migrants. Attorney General of the great state of Florida, Ashley Moody, joins me now. A.G. Moody, why does the Biden-Harris administration always seem to help American taxpayers last? Good morning, Todd. Yeah, everyone should be waking up this morning outraged by that comment. This is not something that has just happened recently, and Florida's been warning about this since this administration took over. Mayorkas has come in like a virus and infected these what need to be healthy, strong, fundamental programs to ensure the stability and safety of Americans in times of disaster. So you heard they have taken the FEMA emergency food and shelter program and over time siphoned off hundreds of millions of dollars into basically making it an illegal immigrant resettlement program. And so when you see these states and cities, now, as a response to that video, I want to make the remark that we need to hold these people accountable. Everyone needs to be held accountable. Um, I know it's a tough job, but to come out and your job is disaster response and to have some sort of non-sympathetic response like, well, we're doing what we can, that is absolutely ridiculous. This guy's head should roll. Um, you know, he should be fired just for that, you know, slip of the tongue there. Maybe he is well-intentioned, but, or maybe he's trying to blow the whistle on, you know, what's happening. But the, the fact that money has all gone to, um, a border crisis in which they're giving money to, uh, illegal aliens, uh, I mean, absolutely ridiculous, but there is, there's a ton more of this stuff out there and I'm going to show some more clips. So let's keep, keep. Are they still not there anywhere? What, what, what are you seeing from FEMA in the federal and the federal response, if any? I mean, they're, they're present. They're in the way. They, they are d directly interrupting our ability to conduct missions and operations. Huh. Um, and, and I'm not going to disparage anybody because we are trying to work within uh, partner relationships, both government and non-government entities within state and federal and county. Um, you know, we, I went to put a couple of people into a hotel last night and I, they have a security guard at the hotel. And they said, oh, we're so sorry. The entire hotel has been booked for federal employees. And I was like, no, no, I, I have people that would just pull it out of a mountain that, that are living out in the hills. And there's not a place for me to put them because we have federal employees that are staying in the hotel. I slept in this white car last night. I smell like foot and death right now as does every single person on our team. Not a single one of us slept. We got done maybe at three o'clock the moment the sun was up and we could fly helicopters again. We were back in the air and we have not stopped. Up a flight of uh, pediatric medical supplies that were brought in um, and are going to North Asheville. We were sitting in the private portion of the airport and we got to overhear an awful lot the Army pilots, the Navy pilots, hospital representatives, um, there was a lot of chatter. While we were there, 
a private jet landed and four FEMA representatives got off. Four. Four people off of a private jet. Come to find out, and you're not going to hear this, so let me tell you. Come to find out, Mission Hospital was told, a private hospital, that they are going to go ahead and be the morgue center for body recovery. All of the Army Chinook helicopters you're seeing flying overhead, they are doing body recovery. FEMA said, and, and you can take this as a direct quote, said that they are too tied up at the border to send any more representatives. Yeah, at the border. So anyhow, I guess border control trumps whatever's going on here. So they told Mission Hospital they are not sending refrigerated trucks so that they can stack the bodies up. And we also overheard that whatever fatality numbers you are hearing, and this is a quote, go ahead and add a couple of zeros. So while American citizens who are really, really hurting, who need the assistance are getting uh, minimal to zero help um, and being told to stand down, let's see where the money is going because that's what I think should be really outrageous. Now, this is just one video I found, but there are a lot out there. Let's watch this and check it out because uh, this is the stuff that where this money is going to house people, um, but not help people who are have been affected by Hurricane Helene. So let's check this out. ¿Y por cuánto tiempo han estado quedándose aquí en el Rojo Hotel? Llegué, llegué en julio. ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos meses es eso? Como siete meses. ¿Y han tenido que pagar alimento? No, no, no. Nada. No he pagado nada. ¿Es, es 100% gratis? Sí, sí. ¿Y le dan almuerzo, desayuno? Sí. No, sí, le, le dan con el niño, personales, no dan pañales, lo que necesiten ellos. ¿Y ahí en el hotel hacen limpieza de las puertas? Sí, 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 sí hacen. Sí, todos los días hacen limpieza, cambian las sábanas. ¿Todos los días hacen eso? Sí, sí, todos los días. ¿Han podido poder conseguir trabajo ustedes? No, no, no. no. no yo no. Si ustedes tuvieron un problema de medicina, ¿cómo podrían recibir ayuda con eso? Bueno, eh, con una tarjeta, la, la del seguro de Medi Medicare. Y la Metroplu. Nosotros y la tenemos Metro. la Metroplu y eso nos abarca el seguro que nosotros necesitamos para los niños y también nosotros nos beneficiamos de eso. ¿Se sintieron apoyados gracias a nuestro presidente Joe Biden? Bueno, sí, sí, porque eh, si no estamos trabajando y nada, él es el que nos está ayudando prácticamente. Let's get a response from the president and see what he thinks. What do the states in the storm zone need, Mr. President? Okay. What do the states in the storm zone, what do they need after what you saw today? Oh, in the storm zone? Yes, sir. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh... They're getting everything they need, and uh, they're very happy across the board. It is absolutely disheartening to see this situation unfold. I am, uh, I am kind of happy to see um, the the strings start to unravel, so that we can see what's actually going on. Um, you know, I've known as as well as many others should always know that uh, you should never depend on the government to. Uh, to be the one that helps you. I mean, even Ronald Reagan said that the, the scariest uh, line there is, hi, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Uh, you know, that encompasses what, what, what's going on. But the, the FEMA, you know, this is an absolute disaster, but I hope it really outrages people. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, drop a comment below. Feel free to shoot me a message, uh, you know. I, I mean, I hate to even see this stuff. It is absolutely disheartening. Uh, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone in you know, North Carolina or everyone in Georgia and the Big Bend of Florida that was affected by this. Um, let me know what you guys think and let me know if there's a direct need. Maybe I can put you in contact with somebody who might have the, uh, the ability to get you some help. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys, and uh, as always, like and subscribe, and, uh, and thanks for following.